So why do we need to focus on HIV and aging? Well, uh, we have a large number of people aging with HIV, people that are uh, healthy and living longer, happy lives, so they continue to age. And uh, many people, uh, but the, by 2015, we're going to have up 50% of individuals living with HIV over at the age of 50. Okay. A lot of the existing studies, though, tend to focus on the Western population, for instance. There, there seems to be a neglect of the other populations. Would you say that that would be the same elsewhere in the world as well? Um, I would think so. I mean, the whole um, aging uh, issue on HIV is not really well known outside the United States. It's my experience. I'm Latino, and for example, in the Latino community, it still seems to be a very new thing. And uh, I imagine, and I will say this not from uh, as a very personal perspective, that uh, it seems to be the same thing outside uh, the United States. One of my colleagues is here from Haiti, and for her, this is a whole new thing. And I would like to just add that, um, that there, there is a bit of a reason for um, the fact that older adults are not really being counted outside the stage, and it's also because there was no treatment in the past, so people were not living longer, and they were dying very young. Mm -hmm. What specific issues do you think there are for people who are aging and with HIV? Well, there's so much that we don't really know about aging and HIV. There's all the uh, comorbidities, all the, the natural changes that happen to the immune system uh, that seem to be aggravated when we combine it with HIV. So there's a whole new area. So doctors are still kind of learning how to deal with the individual aging with HIV. How do you think efforts like this actually help in dealing with this problem? I'm sorry, will you repeat that? How do you think an, a project like this, an effort like this, can actually help deal with this problem? Well, what we try to do here in the Korea is actually target service providers. So we want to actually educate those that are providing services to all the people living with HIV so they are prepared to meet the needs of individuals aging with HIV. Uh, and, you know, once we get providers aware, so then they will be able to share the information with patients and educate individuals that are over 50 living with HIV.